This is the newest addition to Evolution sliding mitosaur range. It's the R255 SMS. It's a 10 inch mitosaur. It's got a three year guarantee. A 2000 watt motor, so that's effectively three horsepower. And the thing that you won't be expecting with this motor is the fact that it's soft start. Just listen to this. Gone are the days when you scare yourself to death every time you press a power button on your mitre saw. I think this is a vast improvement to this saw. So this saw replaces the 255mm Rage 3. So Evolution have made it easy for you to work out what capacities this saw has got. If you look on the left hand side of the table there, you can see that if you cut in at 90 degrees horizontally and vertically, it will cut 300 by 18mm. If you cut in a 45 degree mitre, it will cut 210 millimetres by 80 millimetres. On the other side of the saw you can see that it will cut steel plate to 6 millimetre thickness. It will cut 3 millimetre thick box section. And it also telling you there that it will cut wood with nails. So if you're familiar with Evolution you will know that their multi-purpose blades will cut steel, aluminium, wood and plastic. There's no problem with working with steel and then moving straight over onto wood. This blade will handle everything that you throw at it. So the saw has got a capacity of 0 to 50 degrees on either side with indentations at 0 degrees, 15 degrees, 22.5 degrees, 30 degrees and 45 degrees on either side. So obviously you can set this wherever you want. If you want to cut Cornish you can set the angle to 31.6 degrees and then just clamp it down and it's a very positive clamping action you get. 31.6 degrees is marked on the protractor at the bottom there for if you're cutting Cornish and there's another feature on the bevel which I'll show you in a minute so that if you're cutting corners it's very very easy if you're a kitchen fitter or furniture maker that type of thing. This lever releases the saw and the guard. That's one of my favourite features about the saw because you cannot mistake which is the guard release on this. It's not a button, it's actually a little lever there. I love the way that it's a big target for your hand, it's very difficult to miss. And obviously at the back there we've got the button that starts the motor. And as you can see it's virtually the full width of the handle. This is a soft rubber insert which makes it very firm to grip. There's no way your hand's going to slip on that. The horizontal handle is way better than the vertical handle that's on the Rage 3. So there's a workpiece clamp. One thing to mention though is that there's a capacity for that to get in the way when you're making cuts because of the motor. Just be aware of that. So it's only really suitable on the right hand side for longer work pieces but there's no problem with that you can clamp it on the left hand side that's not an issue there's a lock there to stop the saw from sliding you can lock it in any position you want forward or backwards or in the middle should you want to do so but uh, you may want to think about pushing it back and locking it in position if you're just using this as a chop saw all the new evolution saws have got this locking mechanism at the back for the bevel now that is just a vast improvement on the old system which was just a, like an L-shaped handle. This I really like. It's very positive, very easy to use. Very, very smooth action on the saw when it, uh, when it tilts over. And also a very, very smooth action on the slide there with no play whatsoever. It's rock solid in there. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video when I was talking about if you're cutting cornices, there's a feature on the back here for the bevel angle. There's a pin there. If we zoom in on the scale there for the bevel angle, you can see that we've got 33.9 degrees highlighted on there for cornice cutting. So if I push that pin in and then tilt the saw over to cut a bevel angle, you'll see there's a physical stop there at 33.9 degrees. So if you're cutting cornices, 31.6 degrees marked on the protractor at the bottom, and you've also got a physical stop on 33.9 degrees on the bevel angle. It makes setting this saw for cutting cornices and that type of thing very very fast. On the side of the handle there we've got a button and if I press that down that turns on the laser. So it's right at your fingertips if you want the laser on or off it's just a case of using your thumb to flick it on or off so it will mean that you won't need to leave your laser on all the time like most people do with the Rage 3. There's a little button there on the side of the cutting head that locks the arbor so that you can change the blade which is quite a simple operation. I love the new table extensions they look really smart. One thing to mention uh, when it comes to clamping, Evolution sell a clamp that comes out horizontally for these saws. They're not particularly expensive. So if clamping's an issue for you, there's a socket there on the right hand side and then we've got one there on the left hand side as well. So it might be worth considering that if you're going to be cutting a lot of work and you want to clamp it on the right hand side of the saw. For cutting bevels, the fence at the left hand side slides at the top. So if you slacken that little nut, nut off at the back there, you can slide that round and that just pulls the fence out the way for cutting bevel angles. You do need to remember to pull that back, otherwise you'll end up cutting the fence. 
basically screw this down to set the depth just check it to make sure you've got the depth the way you want it use a locking nut to lock it in place then the depth is set for the cut and you can cut channels for shelves that type of thing let's say that you're cutting quite a few channels but you've got some through cuts to make as well that's taken care of just by lifting this plate and then you've got the full travel of the blade then you can cut straight through so it makes it so that you can leave this set up at a certain depth all the time and just flick this plate backwards and forwards if you want to cut channels any adjustments that you need to make on the saw are very easy they're far easier than they used to be and I've actually put a video on YouTube for you guys so that you can see how to set the saw up if you bought this saw it's a very simple operation and the fact that there is a tool fitted in the back of the table there that does everything that you need to do as far as adjustments are concerned is also very useful this tool is also used for replacing the blade it just slots in the back there so it's always available the saw as supplied doesn't come with a dust bag or an adapter and I've got a Nilfisk shop vac and the adapter that comes with the shop vac fits perfectly in the back there another nice feature on this saw is a cable tidy and you can wrap the cable around the lugs and then they've got like a little attachment on the cable there that just clips that into place right so we'll cut some materials with it this is a 3x3 fence post I've got a couple of screws in there so we're actually going to cut through the post and the screws so that's straight through no problems at all Eighty-nine point nine degrees, so there's no problem there with the accuracy. So we'll cut a forty-five. Forty-five point one degrees, so there's no issue with that either. So next I'll cut this box section and that's quite a substantial piece of box section. As you can see I can pick that straight up, it's cool to the touch and we've got a lovely 90 degree cut on that box section Cuts through it very quickly as well Some uni strut for any electricians out there Again straight through that Cool to the touch and it's a lovely clean cut that 22 mil copper piping for any plumbers. And I know a plumber wouldn't really consider using a mitre saw for cutting copper pipe, but it really is very quick and easy. And some one and a half inch ABS pipe. Now that is a really neat and tidy cut and then just to show you that this blade isn't adversely affected by cutting through metal I'll cut through the 3x3 fence post again And there we go, lovely. So this really is a multi-purpose blade. The Evolution R255 SMS. I think this is a smashing mitre saw. It seems to me that every time Evolution produce a new saw, they up their game. And that's no exception in this case. I think this is by far the best saw of theirs that I've reviewed. The soft start is just a brilliant feature for any of these saws. And I think as soon as you use this saw, if you buy it, you can have a smile on your face. One thing I've noticed about Evolution is they keep their prices down low, so... You're not paying an awful lot of money for a very good quality machine and I would recommend this to anybody, I'm very very pleased with it. With the three year guarantee you really cannot go wrong with this machine. So thank you for watching and I hope you've enjoyed the review.